Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Avery and today I have a pretty exciting video for you. Well, I think it's exciting. It might not be exciting, but you can decide for yourself. But today I decided to go to quite a few little free libraries around my city. So little free libraries are super cool. They're these little boxes that sometimes they're really big, but sometimes they are just even really tiny. And they're basically places where people can leave books and pick up books and that's just what they are. They're like free libraries. So you can pick a book or you can leave a book or you can do both. So I decided to go to a few around my city and I left some books there that I just had that I wanted to get rid of. And I thought about doing like an unhauling video um, to show you what I was getting rid of, but I mean, I got rid of those books for a reason. I don't really wanna talk about them that much because I either didn't like them or just didn't read them. Or some of them were books that I read for class and I just didn't want anymore. Um, some of them are books that I had multiple copies of, so I was just, getting rid of one of the copies and some of them are books that I hadn't even read and wasn't planning on reading. So every time I went to one of the little free libraries I left a book of mine and I picked a new one that interested me. And I actually got the idea for this video um, from Emmy who is another booktuber here on YouTube. Um, I saw that she did this video and I thought it was super cute and it just really made me want to do it myself. So I'll link her video in the description because hers was really good and really entertaining. So the first part of this video is going to be like a vlog style. I'm just going to show you driving around and um, going to the little libraries and switching out the books just so you can kind of see what they looked like and what get an idea of what are in some of the little libraries because they're not all great. Um, <laughs> some of them I didn't get anything from because there wasn't anything really interesting, but um, some of them I found some pretty good stuff. So, um, without further ado, here is the vlog content, and after that, I'm going to do a haul of what I picked up. So, I'm about to head to my first little free library. I am super excited, so let's go. So, here's the first one. So my first trade was a success. I put in a book and I pulled out The Dressmaker of Kerkana. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of that. It looks good. I'll talk about it a little bit more, but I'm excited. So we just went to the second one. Um, there wasn't really anything in there I was super interested in or that caught my eye. So I'm probably gonna hit up one more and then call it a day and continue on in a few days. Okay, so that one wasn't really a win either. Um, it was outside of a church, so there were some religious books in there. Um, which is great, we love religion, but not quite the vibe of today. Um, so, yeah, um, didn't grab one or leave one there either. But that's just the reality of this kind of situation, is that there's going to be a lot of duds, and there might just be a gem, you know? So, it's not a big deal. I've driven around quite a bit today, but I've been enjoying it, so it's a nice day just been riding, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to any more today. I might just head home and continue on another day, go to a different part of town. There's quite a few in my city, so I've still got a lot more to be explored. What is up, people? So it is a few days later, and I'm about to head to a few more little free libraries. So I've queued up about 11 that I wanna go to. Um, I only brought like nine books with me to switch out just because I don't expect that they're all gonna have something that I want or even to be in existence because <laughs> last time I went, a few of them just weren't there. So that was fun. But you know, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Hope you're along for the ride. And um, let's go to our first one of today. So 
So the first one was a success. Um, there wasn't tons in there, but I was able to pick something out that I thought I would like. So that's exciting. On to the next. So the second one was also pretty successful. So this is exciting, having better luck today than I was the other day. And also they had a cute little thing of bookmarks in there and I thought this one was super cute. It looks like it's been like watercolored or something, but I thought that was super cute. Anyway, so I'm excited. Um, off to the third. Another reason I would recommend doing this is because I'm just having a good time driving around my city. I'm going some into some parts of the city that I've never been before and there's some like beautiful houses like these neighborhoods that I'm driving through are bougie. Um, I would film some of them but I don't know I want to like respect their privacy but that's one reason I'm enjoying it. It's just a nice spring day. It's beautiful greenery, beautiful houses. So yeah I would, I would suggest getting out and exploring your town a little more. I saw online that the little girl who lives in this house put some of her favorite words on the side of the little library and I thought it was so cute. Look at all the words on there, they're so funny. So we have a bit of a dilemma, which isn't really a dilemma at all, but so far every single one I've been to, there's been a book that I thought was interesting. So um, if it keeps up going like this, then I'm going to run out by the time I get to the 11th one. Um, but I mean, that's a good problem to have. The one that I just visited, there was actually two that I was interested in, so that even cuts us down more. Um, but you know, I'm glad so far that I'm finding some good stuff. Yeah, I just checked and I have six more to go to and I only have three books left, so we'll see what happens. Um, if I end up running out and there's something that I really want, I can probably just switch one for one that I already have, um, that I just pulled out today because there's a few that I'm interested in, but not like really interested in and I could probably swip, swatch one of the, swatch? swap one of those if I really need to. So I'm not that worried about it, but it's exciting stuff. Ooh, she's packed. All right, let's see. Why would anyone ever want to part with this masterpiece? I don't know. Couldn't be me. So I must have jinxed myself because I didn't find anything in that one that I wanted. So we're fine. Um, there was a copy of New Moon in there. I'm not sure why anyone would want to part with that. So, that was a little offensive. But, anyway, <laughs> off to the next. Ew, can we just recognize that, that that's disgusting? Let's just say I really jinxed myself because the last four that I've been to have all been no-go's. So I was literally just upset that I was gonna run out of books, but no. 
that's not happening. Um, I think I have about two more to go to, um, and then I'll go home and we'll do a little haul. So I'm excited. Hope you are too. Anyway, so let's hit these last two. This one is so cute. They have plants planted on top of it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so that was the vlog portion. And now I wanna talk about some of the books that I picked up. The first book that I picked up from one of the libraries is The Dressmaker of Care Kana by Gail Zamak Lemon. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But this looks really interesting and it's actually a true story. So the front says, five sisters, one remarkable family and the woman who risked everything to keep them safe. So it's basically about um, a family who lives in the city of Kabul after the Taliban has seized control of the city. And um, this woman, Camila, she um, was able to get a teaching degree, um, which is very rare for women there. Um, and but after the Taliban seized control, she's no longer allowed to teach. And she becomes the sole breadwinner of her family because her brother and father are were forced to flee and it says armed with only grit and determination she picks up a needle and thread and created a thriving business of her own so um i just thought this looked really amazing it looks like the reporter gail lemon spent a long time um with the family um and some of the women in afghanistan in order to really get the feel for their life and um i just think it sounds like a very inspiring story, so I am excited to read this one. The next book I picked up was Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. Um, so I've seen the movie Safe Haven. I actually watched it for the first time recently, um, and I really liked it. Um, I like Nicholas Sparks books. I've read not that many, maybe one or two, um, but I just, I don't know, you can't really go wrong with a Nicholas Sparks love story. So I just thought it's a good one to have to my collection, to add to my collection. Um, everyone needs a good romance. Um, so if you don't know what this is about, it's about a young woman named Katie who um, suddenly appears in this town of Southport, North Carolina. And um, she is very mysterious. You don't know much about her past. And she begins to fall in love with this man in the town, Alex, and his two children. But eventually her past comes and catches up with her. And it's crazy. The next book that I picked up is Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. So this book was really popular when it came out. Um, and I know there's a movie adaptation of it, which I haven't seen, but I've heard is also pretty good. Um, so I was excited to see this. Um, it's about a 15 year old girl whose mother um, goes missing and she is basically trying to find out what happened to her, where did she go, where'd you go Bernadette, that's her name. Um, and yeah, it's just about the family trying to figure out what's up with the mom and her life. She has a crazy past. Um, so I've heard it's really good. Um, so yeah. I picked it up. Next book I got is called Supreme Courtship by Christopher Buckley. And I read the description of this book and it sounds so funny. It's basically about the current US president is really angry at the Senate for rejecting his Supreme Court nominees. So he decides, I guess, to stick it to them to choose Judge Pepper Cartwright, a star of the most popular reality TV show on TV, Courtroom 6. So he literally just picks this TV judge out of spite, which I just think is so funny. That's just a hilarious concept. Um, and it's basically about the judge. 
Can she stand the confirmation battle? If she gets put on the court, how will she get along with her eight colleagues, including the chief justice who legalizes gay marriage only to lose his wife to another woman, which is so funny. It says, stay tuned for a heady constitutional crisis, a re-election campaign the president wants to lose, and oral arguments of a very romantic nature. Anyway, so it just sounds really funny just from the description. Um, this one also says it's a New York Times bestseller. So I'm pretty excited for this one. Seems really funny and like it'll be a, a fun read. The next book I got is The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. And this one is also really popular, I know. It was also made into a movie, which I haven't seen, um, but I'm excited to read this and then be able to watch the movie. Um, and it's also a New York Times bestseller. Um, so it's about um, two Polish zookeepers, Jan and Anto Antonina Zabinski, who managed to save over 300 refugees from the Nazis by keeping the refugees or by hiding them in empty animal cages. And I just read that it's actually based on a true story, which is so cool. Um, I just think stories like that are really interesting and um, I think it's going to be a really good read. So I'm very excited for this one. The next book I got is High as the Heavens by Kate Breslin. And this one is also a historical book, but this one is historical fiction. But it is about a British nurse in World War I who is living in Brussels that is currently German occupied. So by day she works at the hospital and also at a cafe. But by night, she is actually a spy um, for a Belgian resistance group. Um, and so it's about her being a spy, and I think there's a bit of a love story in here as well. So I just thought that sounded really interesting. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for this one. I haven't read much historical fiction, but um, I'm excited to read this one. It sounds very interesting. So that's this bad boy. The next book I picked up is called the Unfinished Novel and Other Stories by Valerie Martin, and this is actually a compilation of short stories. And it's a bunch of different stories about different types of artists and certain trials in their life that they go through. Um, there's a story about a painter, a writer, an American poet in Rome, a printmaker. I think it's about them being artists and then also dealing with things in their lives. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of interesting. Also, the cover is just really pretty but we don't judge books by their covers, except for when we do, because sometimes you just do. Um, so I just thought this was interesting. I don't really have that many like collections of short stories. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, so we'll see how it is. The next book that I got is Almost French by Sarah Turnbull. Um, and it says, Love and a New Life in Paris. If you guys watched my last video on my TBR for February was a book called Lunch in Paris, um, a love story with recipes. And I read that in February and I thought it was really great. And so this kind of reminded me of it, the description. It's about a woman um, who says, oh, this is also an autobiography. It's about her life, Sarah Turnbull. That's exciting. I love reading about that because it makes you hopeful that you could also find love in Paris. It says Sarah's stint in Paris was only supposed to last a week, but she meets this man and on impulse decides to um, take him up on an offer to visit him in the world's most romantic city. And so she basically falls in love and has to navigate life in Paris and love. And I just love that. I love Paris. I've been there once. I thought it was beautiful. And love in Paris. Like, I don't know. That's just what you need in life. Sometimes you just need a good book about love in Paris. So, Almost France. Almost French, not Almost France. Almost French by Sarah Turnbull. So, I'm excited to read this one. So, the last book that I picked up on my escapades at the Free Little Library was... Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. So I, it's actually really funny because I just watched this movie last night. Me and my roommate thought it would be hilarious to watch Pride and Prejudice and Zombies because we love 
the original and I'd seen it before and it's honestly such a good movie um, and I didn't realize it was from a book. Anyway, so when I saw the book, I decided I had to get it because I think the movie's great. Um, I haven't actually read Pride and Prejudice yet. That is actually on my list for the next book that I'm reading after I finish the one I'm currently reading. Um, so I'm sure that this won't be super high up on my TBR either, just because I'm going to read the original and then I don't know if I'm going to want to go straight from the original to one about zombies. But, um, I just think that it's really funny. I do eventually want to read it someday because it's hilarious. It's a hilarious concept. Who came up with Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? Well, obviously Seth Graham Smith, but you just know Jane Austen's like rolling in her grave. But I was very excited to see this because I thought it was funny and I can add it to my classics editions. Classics? I don't know if they count, but it counts in my heart. So those were all the books that I got um, around the little free libraries in my town. And I really only hit about half of them. Um, there's actually a lot where I live. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like for me to do another one, a part two, then um, probably not soon because I just accrued quite a large amount of books and I still have other books I need to read. But I thought it was really fun and I would love to do it again. Also, if you want to do this, you can go to littlefreelibrary.org and you can put in your location and it pops up all the little free libraries around you. Um, people who make them and put them outside their houses or wherever, they just register them online so they're all in this database so you can see the ones around you and know where they are. I just think it's a super cute concept when I'm eventually old and have a house. Not that you're that old when you have a house, but you know what I mean. When I have my own home, I definitely think I want to make one of these. I think it's so fun. You get to build it yourself and you can design it, make it as cute as you want. And I just think it's a super cool idea. Just be warned that some of the little free libraries didn't actually exist when I rolled up to the address. It wasn't that many, maybe like two or three, but that can happen. And you can also have ones. I had a few where I didn't you know, they're not great. There's nothing really in there. Or it's just children's books or cookbooks. And so you don't always, you know, hit the jackpot with them. But I just thought they're fun. And it's a good way to find new books that aren't super mainstream. You know, you're not going to see like the invisible life of Addie LaRue in there. But it's a good way to read some books by some authors that you maybe have never heard of. But maybe one day you will hit the jackpot and you will find like the entire Shadowhunters collection just sitting in there. Yeah, I don't think that would happen, but it could. And it's a good way to get rid of books that you don't want anymore, because I had books on my shelf that I just knew I was never going to read, and I was able to get new ones. So it's like donating them, but you actually get something in return for donating, which is nice. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more videos from me. If you have any video ideas that you would like me to do, then leave a comment. And I hope you guys have a splendid rest of your day or night or evening or whatever. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.